Hi guys, I'm Will from VPN Mentor and welcome to our tutorial and review of Avira VPN. We're gonna check out some interesting features they offer and we're gonna test their premium service. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and leave comments in the section below. Here we are at the Avira website. Let's take a quick look at some of the interesting features they offer. Unhackable, untraceable and uncensored are just a few benefits you get from using VPN. They offer both free and premium service. The main difference being that free option has a 500 megabyte monthly limit and doesn't include kill switch and tech support. Their application is available for multiple operating systems and is a plugin for Chrome browser. They keep no logs, they have DNS leak protection, they claim to unlock geo-restricted content and we will put that to the test later. And also at the bottom of the page, we have a language selector. Now I'll go ahead and subscribe to the premium plan to see what is the difference. If you wish to do that too, I suggest you head to the VPN Mentor coupon page, where you can find good deals and coupons on VPN services. It is updated regularly, so you can always find the best deal for you. Avira offers three different pricing plans. One month and one year plan for multiple devices, and one month plan for Android and iOS devices. I'll go with the one month plan for the purpose of this video, but I recommend an annual plan of course, since it is cheaper. For the payment method, you can choose between credit card and PayPal, but unfortunately, this time there's no Bitcoin as an option, so no anonymous payments. I will go with PayPal. After the payment, you will receive an email stating that your account has been created and activated. You just need to set your password and install the application. So after you set your password, choose your operating system and download the app. Now that we are registered, let's take a quick look at our account. This is the subscription tab where you can turn your monthly auto billing on and off at any moment. Under the switch, you can find the activation code if you want to connect more devices to your VPN account. And at the bottom, you can see your payment history. In Devices tab, you will find the app again, if you need it for a different operating system. In Free Products, you can find various other Avera products like Antivirus, AppLock and others. You can also visit their store directly from your account and buy the security suite or other products. In Family Locator, you can set and manage all your devices. You can track them and send notifications to your lost devices if you can't find them around the house or you can lock them with a PIN code. When you install Avira, something like a command center will open first. From here, you can choose which apps you want to open or install on this computer. And you can manage your devices or licenses. Let's go ahead and open the VPN application. I'll connect to the nearest virtual server just to see if it is working. It took about 10 seconds, but it's on. In the top of the app, you will find a gear symbol for settings, or you can choose a different location. Set out a connection on VPN for Wi-Fi networks. Send diagnostic data, set it to launch at startup, and block all traffic if connection drops, which is basically a kill switch. Okay now, I'll disconnect from VPN and perform some tests on the original network. First, let's check our IP address. As you can see, we are located in Serbia. Now let's test the speed of our connection. The result is this. I have a ping of 7 milliseconds, download speed 45.07 megabytes per second, and upload is 3.95 megabytes per second. And finally, I'm gonna head to Netflix and try to access some content that is blocked in my country. It is the show Futurama, and when I type it in, you can see it's not showing in the results. I will go to Avira support page and ask them which server is best for accessing the Netflix catalog. Unfortunately, even after 48 hours, we still haven't received a response to our question from their customer support, which is hardly a good thing. I'll turn the VPN on now and repeat the test. In order to unlock Netflix, later we're gonna need a US server. So I'll choose San Francisco. And before we proceed, we need to clear cookies and other browsing data. Let's check the IP. And it has successfully relocated us to California. Let's test the speed of this server now. 
so I have ping of 201 millisecond. Download speed is 2.31 megabytes per second and upload is 2.09 megabytes per second. After several tests we get a median value and the results appear not to be that great. I'll type Futurama again. And there it is. Now let's see if it's working. Unfortunately it has detected that we are using VPN and that means we can't stream the show. Since we have finished with our tests, it's time to cancel our subscription and ask for a refund. We'll ask their support for that since we already deactivated our monthly subscription through Avira control panel earlier in this video. Though it is not stated visibly anywhere on their website that they have a money refund policy, there is a page with information regarding the customer's rights of withdrawal, in which it is stated you have the right to withdrawal from an arrangement 14 days after the purchase, in which case they refund all the payments received from you. If you want more information on Avira VPN, I suggest you go to our review page where you can find a lot of details. You can see their ratings, there are some excellent expert user reviews, and you can also compare it to other VPN providers, which can be very useful for finding the right VPN for you. Alright guys, to recap our experience of Avira's VPN services. We like that it's offering both free and premium service, they keep no logs, it's an easy to use app and we received our refund after contacting their support. We didn't like that there's no anonymous payment method available like Bitcoin, the network speeds were pretty low in our tests and we were unable to access Netflix. So that's it for our video, if you find it helpful please like, share and leave comments in the section below.